this video looks at finding the equation of a tangent at a particular point and also looks at a problem linked to the tangent and the curve. Now a tangent is a line of the form y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. Now I know the x coordinate is 1, so x1 equals 1. To find the y coordinate, y1, I put 1 into this equation here. 1 cubed plus 2 times 1 take 1 is 2. So the coordinate is 1, 2. The gradient is still missing. If I differentiate this, dy by dx, I get 3x squared plus 2. And if I let x equal 1, then the gradient will be that x equals 1. The gradient equals 3 times 1 squared is 3, plus 2 equals 5. So if I put in 1, 2 and 5 into the general equation of a line, I get y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So I can expand and rearrange that. y minus 2 equals 5x minus 5. So y equals 5x minus 3. So that's the equation of the tangent. The next part asks where the tangent will also cross the curve. So we know that the curve and the tangent meet at x equals 1, by definition. But to find where they also intersect, I must solve these two equations simultaneously. So where they intersect, I know that x cubed plus 2x minus 1 must equal 5x minus 3. If I take away 5x and add 3, I get x cubed, take away 3x, plus 2 equals 0. So to find where these intersect, I must solve that cubic equation. But I know that one of the solutions is x equals 1. So one of the roots is x equals 1. So if x equals 1 is a root, then x minus 1 is a factor. So I've got to divide this expression here by x minus 1. Here's my method. x minus 1. Right. I want an x cubed. So this requires an x squared. Minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. I want there to be no x squareds. So I put another plus in there. They cancel off. There's an x there, so I need another x. Minus 1 times x is minus x. I want there to be minus 3x. So I need minus 2x. x times minus 2 is minus 2x. And then minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, as required. So, I'm left with x squared plus x minus 2. This factorises to x plus 2 and x minus 1 equals 0. So the other solutions are x equals minus 2 or x equals 1. Well, x equals 1 is still the tangent. So the other value where the tangent and the curve intersect is at x equals minus 2. And when x is minus 2, I can find the y-coordinate. y equals minus 2 cubed plus 2 times minus 2. Take away 1, which equals minus 8, minus 4, take 1, which is minus 13. So the curve and the tangent also intersect at the coordinate minus 2, minus 13.